Kyle, good afternoon. Mike at Lakeshore RV here with this Alpha Wolf 33BH-L. Uh, get you a little video here. A little light if it's dark out. Retract. Extend. Two 20 pound LP tanks. They will be filled and ready to go by the time you get here. Uh, your battery setup is right behind that. Little vehicle information, tire and loading information here. Pass through storage, that's your 30 amp hookup. That light just sensed us and turned on its a motion detector. Um, a couple of hand cranks down there if something were to happen and you were to need them. Um, also down there is your battery disconnect and solar reader. Um, right here, city water, fresh. So portable water you can take with you. That's where you'd need to use your water pump if you're using that. Black tank flush, um, cleans out your gray and black tanks. You do want to make sure these valves down here are open as well as that's open. Um, hot water heater right there, it's a six gallon. Right next to that is your exhaust, that gets very hot. Hot and cold outdoor shower. And moving on, slide is in. We're gonna get that out in just a second here. Both slides are in. That's your electric hookup. Around back here, rear bumper, spare tire. Up there is your backup camera. And that actually syncs to your cell phone. So your cell phone is the screen. Um, fridge and freezer. Spot for a black stone, gray stone, griddle, whatever. Freezer. Ugh, fridge and an actual sink and an actual cupboard. Stabilizer jacks will extend. Those will drop down pretty quick. We'll bring them back up. Quick connect right there for LP um, for anything you put in that spot there. Um, this model does come with solid steps, both front door and back door. You rarely see that. Typically they put the cheap ones back here. Uh, this is the backing to the refrigerator that will drip spot for your television, outdoor speakers, cable hookup, plug-ins. Uh, keep moving on the outside here. Stabilizer jack, leash latch, battery disconnect. So if I were to turn this to off, we're not gonna get anything from the battery. And all right. Big, huge awning. I think it's 21, 20 or 21 feet. Okay, heading into the camper. Fuse box. I haven't even been in this one today yet. Some front storage for you. And we're going to open it up. Okay, so that's going to be my slide in the rear. Or, yeah, that's what that's going to be. Slide in the bunk. I usually put these out before before I get in them, but for whatever reason, I didn't this time. But it's out. Okay, I'm going to start getting the other slides out. And so this, while I'm putting that out, is your thermostat. Um, you can, I'm only one-handed, but you hit that rectangle button. It's going to go through cool high, cool low, cool low auto, cool high auto, heat, all of that fun stuff. Uh, prep for a Wi-Fi one control hotspot. And slide three we're working on here. So, turning in to a big room from uh, what was once a very, very small room. But either way, that's how they work. <laughs> and then this button down here, awning, obviously the same thing. Um, water pump, water heater, inside LEDs, outside LEDs, living room lights, kitchen lights. That's going to control the majority of your lights. However, there are some pendant lights and pocket lights or, or pop lights, some people call them, and I'll show you those. So we're going to go inside LED, outside LED, living room lights, kitchen lights. Okay. Kyle, I do make a habit of opening every cabinet door, and that's just to make sure if there's any damage or anything, I can be the first one to find it. 
Um, so we'll, we'll be opening a lot of stuff. Microwave. Ah, these are the pop lights. Stove top, three burner, flips back over itself. Cutting board magnetically attached. Quite a bit of storage. Oven. Let's open up the fridge. Freezer. Keep moving along here. So this switch right here, if you're using the fireplace, you cannot use the microwave. You have to flip that switch. AM FM stereo, zone one in the camper, zone two on the exterior. You can play both at the same time. USB ports, uh, satellite, TV, TV backer. Um, and then of course the fireplace. Moving over to the other side of the camper, we have your jackknife sofa. We'll focus on that. And the blinds behind it. Zebra shades. You can black them out. You can open them up a little bit. You can make them disappear completely. Jackknife sofa. Storage beneath. Does drop flat. Boot dinette. Big drawers. Up, out. Oh, I pulled it too far. Oh, trying to do these things with one hand is just terrible. All right. Table legs. Okay. Kitchen island. Uh, sink has the removable faucet. See the little pink stuff in there? It's because it came winterized. Sink and matching sink cover to the on top. And let's open these drawers up. Nice dividers for the silverware. Some goodies. That opens up. That opens up. It's like a nightclub in there. Okay, we are going to take this party to the bunkhouse. Your top bunk, ladder, spot for a television. There is a TV backer in here, a stud finder will find it. Second jackknife sofa, same same sofa, same storage underneath. Bunk bed above with a 250 pound weight capacity. Um, this room back here is going to be the pop lights. So, that's your bunkhouse. Bathroom. This is your half bath, porcelain toilet, vanity sink, a little bit of storage down there. And let's go to the front of the unit. Actually, I'm going to turn all these lights off. Okay. Up to the front of the camper. So to get to the main bedroom, we do go through the bathroom. Vanity. And your sink. Big radial shower here. With a skylight. And where's my light in here? Oh, it's going to be a pop light. And another pop light. Tons of storage here. And down beneath, second porcelain toilet with a foot flush. Oh, and then your fan, of course. Four speeds. And then this is a hand crank. Ah, so open, go that way. And there she goes. Open it right up. All right, and to close it. Get moving here and turn the fan off. Okay, up front to the master. Front bed. Storage beneath. This here, I know you'll probably ask me about it, so I'm going to explain it now. They put it in here. It's prepped. I believe it's a 
wireless phone charger you can attach to that. Um, it's an aftermarket product. It plugs right in here. Okay. All right. Cool. I think that is everything. Oh, pendant lights. Um, and then I'm going to shut some stuff off here. I will show you. That's your outside LED, if you can see it. Ah, there we go. Well, all right, Kyle, I'll be seeing you on Monday, man. Thank you and have a great day.